I'm hooked. Do an opening. No. Hey, we're back. We do the things. Oh no! Oh no! It's a guy. He's saying things and asking how we're feeling. Oh no! Yeah, I don't care about your feelings. Where's pants? No, we want to know how we got here. Yeah. We don't give a shit about pants. <laughs> there will always come a time in a man's life where he will ask the person in the room, "Where are my pants?" Uh huh. And the answer will be, "I don't care." Hey, honey, where are my pants? Where my super suit. You probably don't even know what I'm talking about, even Lego though you movie. saw. Oh, you did see the yeah, movie. Okay. Yeah, Lego Movie. <laughs> All right. I decided to quote Incredibles because uh -huh. people have been talking about Incredibles lately for some oh, reason. Oh, okay. I guess that works. At least the algorithm is talking about Incredibles to me. Mm. Friend Computer wants me to know more about the Incredibles. Okay. Well, I haven't seen anything about the Incredibles in my algorithm. Okay. So Friend Computer doesn't think you care about the Incredibles. Yeah. Yeah. It seems to be the case. I love and hate how we live in a time where we can unironically say friend computer. Yeah. Because that's what the algorithm is becoming. That's what it's trying to be. Friend computer. OK, it's like, friend hey, computer. you might like this. What do you mean you don't like this? <laughs> All of my algorithms are telling me you should like this. Yeah. Are you telling me my algorithms are wrong? That's what happened with Skynet. Yeah. Somebody was like, you know what? I'm not really interested in this. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? You're not interested in this. <laughs> My algorithm can't be wrong. Clearly the humans are wrong. Yeah. I think it's dead. Man, look at that beached whale. Yeah. I, I, I think it's dead, but it's clearly breathing. Like, look at that. Uh, is it breathing or is it being poked? That's a good question. Or, oh God, the positioning of that hand is really uncomfortable mm. in HD. Yeah. It's like, what, what are you doing down there? Shh, shh, shh. No, let me have this. Uh-huh. Just, just let me have this. Yeah. Guard, what are you doing? God, his fingers are red now. Is, what the fuck? Yeah. What is he up to down there? This is how you gut these things. You start from one of the holes and just kind of... <laughs> See, this is how a zombie apocalypse happens. Somebody fingers a beached whale. It's just... See, zombies, what did <laughs> I just tell you? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep, about time you start getting some respect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the tongue, too. Queen is so fucking great. It's one of those characters that's like, why are you still here? Yeah. And, oh, God damn it. <laughs> like, we didn't really need Quina to begin with. Yeah. Yeah, Quina, what the fuck? Uh, I think Quina just kind of does what he or she wants to do. I mean, that's fair. That's that's the thing that I love about these old JRPGs, uh -huh. is you have characters that not even halfway through the game, you're like, why are you here? Yeah. And the answer is, I don't know. I just want to be. I, I really, ha I literally have nothing better to do with my time right now. Yeah. Like the ones that seem to make the most sense are the ones whose motivation is, no, no. I want to see where this is going. Yeah. Then you got ones like Quenna, it's like, why wouldn't I be here? Uh huh. What do you expect me to be doing otherwise? Yeah. Because I don't know what I'd be doing otherwise. You know, last time I traveled with you, I got many tasty frogs. I mean, cool stuff happens when I'm with you guys, or I at least get free shit. Mm-hmm. What? <gasps> the hero has awakened. The hero has awakened. Blue monkey needs food badly. <laughs> uh, oh, interesting facts. You should all know they're aliens. Oh. Okay. So why didn't you have me just go to the fucking conference room? Rude. I like my chair. Yeah, I guess. I want to sit in my chair at all times. But I don't have a sitting model, so I have to stand in it. Ah, the secret of Oglops, we're always sitting. That's why we jump. Yeah. We can't actually walk. Walk. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I have the best chair! You Hell all can yeah. suck it. Hooray. So the princess has been kidnapped. Yeah. No, no, she's not kidnapped. She's just lazy. She's lazy and mute. Mm. This is the point in the game where you can't use her for anything useful. Oh, like all of her spells are sealed off. OK. I mean. I remember when Cloud gets fucked up in seven. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Spoilers for a 20 year old game. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I remember when he was mute for a long ass, like a long stretch of that game. 
but I completely forgot, like, 100% that Pants had anything like that. Uh, yeah. I've played this game, like, three times, and every time it just flies out of my head. Because I never use her. Well, yeah, I've I've used her in one file, um, and using her in that file was kind of silly, because, like, all she can do right now when she's in your party is just fucking attack. Yeah. That's it. And this is another one of those JRPGs where this was before everyone levels together. So uh -huh. if you want to use a character, you need to use that character. Yep. So the game actively discourages you from using Garnet. Yeah. Hilarious. Okay. So yeah, Alexander got fucked up. Guess what? Limblum got fucked up too. We got over it. Uh-huh. Bermissia might not. Vanquished all four nations. Well, Bermissia might. It, it wasn't too badly fucked up. Uh, Clayroon, Clayroon might not recover from this. Clayroon? Whatever, Clayroon. Clay, it's Clayra. Clayra, fuck it, whatever, the tree. Who cares what it's called because it's a crater now. Oh. Kuja is a twink of many mysteries indeed. <gasps> Some escape on Heldegard one? Oh no! G gasp! They weren't, uh -oh. no! No way. Why would they join him? That's rude. There is no doubt. Why? Why are they with Kuja? Yeah, that's a good question, Mega Man. Deep anger. We go to the White Owl Womb. <laughs> Blah. For a second, I thought I was dead. Ha 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 ha. What am I thinking? I can't die because. No. I'm the bad guy. I'm the main villain. The only person who can defeat me is the main hero, and only after all the extensive monologue. Mm -hmm. There have been zero monologues, so I can't die yet. Mm -hmm. The only time I would die without a direct monologue with the hero is if we were in a gun, like a mecha anime, in which case we're just talking to ourselves. <laughs> oh good, the clowns. Uh-huh. <gasps> Terrible injuries. Oh wow, his model's like scorched. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Interesting. And his, like, dress is all fucked up. Yeah. I never noticed that in standard definition. Me neither. <laughs> That's neat. Yeah, it is. That is a detail they didn't, they did not need to add. Nope. And they did it. Little touches, you know, little touches. Get the new Kuja action figure with battle damage scars. <laughs> and karate chop action. I need to learn the name for that character archetype. The ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because there has to be a name for that archetype. Oh, no doubt. Like, fucking Charlotte in, uh, in Samurai Showdown. We got, um, what's her name? Karen in, uh... Got Naga in, from Slayers. Yeah, yeah. We got half the cast of Tenchi Moyo. Uh-huh, that's true. <laughs> like, that is... That has to have a name. Uh, oh no! Yep. S stealing airships. Gotta get Hilda back. She's totally not there of her own volition <laughs> to get back at you because she's a spiteful fucking bitch. My my wife still loves me. She only turned me into a bug because she's kind of angry with me. Yeah, turned me into a bug and left and kind of gave my mortal enemy this fucking airship. Yeah. <laughs> Number two is still out of commission. Mm -hmm. I can't do it with my bug. What are you, crazy? Someone might step on me. If only I were a man again. I need to be a man, for only a dick can build an airship. Yes. That is like one of the weirder things in Final Fantasies, of just the obsession of there's always a Sid, mm -hmm. and the Sid is always related to airships. In some way or another, yeah. Well, I guess it depends on if you count Balan Garden as an airship. Yeah, Because it mean, doesn't really fly, it just kind of hovers. It, it functions as the first airship. Yeah, I, I guess to some degree. Although, honestly, it's more like a ship itself. Well, like, Balan Garden functions like the first airship. Uh, it's not the good airship, because right. that's the Ragnarok. Yeah. Uh, and you don't get another vehicle between it. Yeah. And with... Uh, Final Fantasy VII, you get Sid and the little Boko. 
Right. Yeah, FF7, of course, like the, the little Bronco. Yeah. Bronco. And also, like, it's called the airship in FF7 is called the High Wind, which is Sid's last name. Yeah. Uh, and I think he was working on it. <gasps> she's lost her voice. She can't oh, talk anymore. No! She's in the guest room. Yeah, she's in the blue guest room. She's in the blue guest room. Not the red room. That's where the backwards talking midget is. We still can't get him to leave. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there's any other Final Fantasies where the Sid isn't associated with the airship. Like, there's a very loose connection between Sid and, and your airship in uh, Final Fantasy XII. Because um, your airship is owned by Balthier, yeah. who is Sid's son. Okay. And in ten, Sid is the Albrecht or whatever the fuck Al they're called. Albed, yeah. Albed, who, uh, who flies the airship. Mm-hmm. And then 13? Uh, who I, the fuck is Sid in that one? I don't... I hardly remember anything from 13 that isn't rage-inducing. Right. And I haven't played 15. Yeah, I haven't played 15 either. And 11 and 14 are MMOs. Mm -hmm. There's probably a Sid in There's Bolton. probably a Sid. Oh, I guess she's not. She's in the guest room. Oh, right. We were talking about the blue guest room. Yep. Not the red guest room. See, that requires paying attention. And I wasn't doing that, so fuck you. <laughs> Not my fault. I did everything wrong. Fuck you. Yep, I did everything wrong, and it's entirely your fault. I have to blame someone, otherwise it's my fault, and fuck that. Yeah. Uh, yes. Go back the way we came. Yep. Go back to the place where we always wind up in the club. The free treasure room. Mm-hmm. I mean, technically, I guess you can kind of sleep there, but really, it's the free treasure room. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, why would you even sleep there? You need to fucking use a tent. Yeah. Hey, Garnet. Hey, Dagger. Hey, Pants. How you doing? How you doing? Say something if you want to say that you're doing good. Yep. Hey. Hey. I read that as she's sitting on her head, which that would be quite the feat. I would be impressed. Yeah. Okay, so she's not catatonic, she's just mute. Mm hmm Okay, cool. You will continue to contribute the same amount to the story. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, it is a bad joke. It's it's basically just, uh... It's extending her character to where it naturally, logically would flow. Yeah. To absolute silence. <laughs> I mean... There is a really cool direction they could have gone with this that would have been, like, completely nuts, but in a fun way. Uh -huh. And that's... No. Like, different parts of your psyche are what manifest as the Eidolons. Yeah? And by Alexander dying, that killed her voice. I could see that. Like, oh no, her voice manifests as this giant fuck-off robot. <laughs> and then they're because like... Because she speaks for Alexandria. Yeah! See? Yeah. See? It writes the fuck itself. Yeah. And then, like, no, nah, she's just traumatized because she watched her kingdom get blown up. Mm hmm To her, it's it's slightly worse than watching her mom blow up other kingdoms. Right. <gasps> come on, Rusty, get up. Yep. Oh, come on, you never paid attention to her anyway. Do you remember how this voice thing resolves? No. With hair cutting. I remember the hair cutting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I relinquish my past, because that is a thing that happens in many pieces of fiction. Yep. The metaphorical washing of the hands. Mm -hmm. The out, out damn spot. Mm-hmm. Except that it actually works. Yeah. <gasps> well, see, the trouble is, the reason why Lady Macbeth never got that spot out is because the spot wasn't there. The spot was in her mind. Oh, right. Garnet is able to let go of the past because she puts the past in her hair and then takes the hair off and throws it away. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly how it works. See, what Lady Macbeth should have done is gotten a little something, like just a little grease from the kitchen or a little bit of gravy and get that on her hand. Yeah. Like, here's the spot, wash. I have now officially washed my hands of this. Mm -hmm. You know, we're making fun of it, but that's basically how ritual works. Uh, yeah, kind of. That's how every religion does things. <laughs> this is true. And so many, so, so many festivals. Mm -hmm. hmm. Oh, we need to go find a cure. Have to find some potions. 
the unusual potion. Okay. It's a good thing that all of these fucking potions are in town. Yeah. At least I'm pretty sure they are. My hammer! My hammer. Yeah. yeah. I almost fell and would have been mildly inconvenienced because this universe doesn't have full damage, apparently. <laughs> I need a hammer. Let's see. <laughs> I will find one. Yup. What? No. What? That's gross. Yeah, nobody uses my hammer but me. A dwarf using another dwarf's tools? That's that's just icky. Yeah. You can get Sinna's hammer by doing the Stelazio quest, I think. Yup. And then you can what? combine it with pumice piece to get something. Was it the Stelazio quest or was it uh, beating Hades? Uh, I think beating Hades gives you pumice, which gives okay. you arc. Um, but I don't know. Yeah, like, fuck. I just know that's part of the the stupid extended ending quest line, mm -hmm. which is fucking worthless. Yep. According to Damien, the only way you do the, uh, or the only thing you need to do to get the um, extra little line of neither Cloud nor Squall blah 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 is to just get Sinna's hammer. Okay. So it's not quite as complicated as we thought. I just... I remember have... all the rumors yeah. about how complicated it was. Yeah, this is another thing where it's like, if you're under, like, 20 and under, mm -hmm. you don't remember this era of schoolyard rumors on how things work. Right. In early internet days, bullshit would fly even more than today. Oh, yeah. Like, like, I still remember the dumb Pokemon shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Moving that truck with strength to get Mew. Yeah. <laughs> like, moving the truck, which there was some kernel of truth to that. Like, there is a way to get Mew where it's under a truck. Oh, is there? Like, that that had a kernel of truth to it. Okay. Um, I don't think that you can officially do it. Mm -hmm. Is that Dan? Uh, no, I think Dan died. Yeah, yeah. that's what I thought. Yeah, oh, this is Cal. Cal. Okay. okay. Hi, Cal. Gonna go repopulate your species? Yeah. You're the couple from Bermesia. Oh, yeah, cool. Oh, you're the guy that almost got crushed. Yeah, okay, that's, cool. that's the guy. Cool. Yep, some of our friends made them cool. Now you'll have a little Bermesia in Lindblom. Mm -hmm. And people will go there because they think Bermesians are incontinent because they're fucking rats. Yeah. And it's gross. <gasps> it's like, hey! Freya! Doyle! Doyle! And, and gray. Nah, it's gray. Yep. Cool, people have the not dead. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't a total genocide. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Dan died. Uh -huh. Bye, Dan. Dan Hibiki gave his life <laughs> to valiantly save all of these rats. Yeah. But yeah, with, like, the, the mule under the truck... There mm -hmm. is an area where you can get Mew, and it is under the truck, but I think you have to use something like a Game Shark to get to it. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Everyone isn't dead. They're just all over the place. We got a rat diaspora. Uh, yeah. Cool. I got some other shit to deal with, but when I'm done, I'll kind of get around to helping you guys, I guess. <laughs> Pretty much. Thank you. <gasps> yeah. Oh, Fratley. I wish Fratley would go here. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, that's right. We get a thing. We get kids. Chillins. Yep, lots and lots of kids. Jesus Christ, you rats breed fast. Uh, yeah. Holy shit, they're already walking and talking. That was like a week ago. <laughs> Maybe? Something like that. <laughs> Maybe? Nah, it had to have been longer. We went to a whole different continent. Yeah, time passage in games like this is super fucking weird. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, you just, you never know. Have, have we been on this adventure for years? <laughs> Were those fate to blacks like years being crossed? Potentially. How long did Burmeseans Pro live? Probably not though. Hmm. Can we go play? You bo adults are boring. Bye! Yeah. Oh, you can even see him in the little corner there, just <laughs> freaking the fuck out. Yeah, that's cute. La 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 la. Ooh hoo hoo. Oh, what they're doing, what they're doing is. Yeah, yeah, Cthulhu Fatagan. Yeah, that's what it is.